here we are going to be looking at making a portrait uh, influences of Klimt and Leonardo da Vinci. First of all, with Klimt and his Impressionism, he used a lot of gold paints and symbolism, which is very interesting to, for his paintings. It's quite emotional. Shows where they are a feeling, a strong sense of feeling. As for Leonardo da Vinci, he studied the objects, where the light and the tones, the shade were shining through. So I have made this previously, having had a look. And so here's the image. And what I'm going to do is, I have already put lead on this side, as you can see. I'm using a black piece of paper. And all I'm going to do is draw around because I want the impression of this to print onto the other side. Then I'll have a visual, visual image of what I want to see. So I have got a some idea of where everything is. So what I'm going to do now is going to use some um, gold paint, just as Klimt did. You have to be careful how you use gold paint because um, some bits can be really thick, quite harsh, um, too dark in areas. Be careful of that. Klimt is one of my favorites where he used so much storytelling, really. When you look at it, you can actually see how he was feeling, the story he wanted to say. So this is the basic image that I have got. So the next one I did was um, mark making. He did an enormous amount of um, symbolism, but also mark making to where he wanted his painting to look like. Aesthetic, beautiful composition, the feeling, the beauty of this whole, not just the person whom he was in love with, but also make it look adorable, absolutely beautiful. So let's try and make that. Let's try and make that in terms of uh, what he predicted and wanted to show the world as he saw. I'm using quite a soft, a large brush, the flat bucket. Now this is a lesson for middle school or upper primary. They would love to see how the black works against color. Not a lot of them have been experienced to that. So I'll just let it dry for a while. In the meantime, I'll use a small paintbrush, add some details, make some things more defined. Aesthetics and what you can see and what you want to do and present is very important.
you don't have to make uh, adjust, adjustments as it is because you can always go back and uh, modify the image that you have made. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some color. Including some of the areas. Bright colors, wall colors. She's a good looking lady. And Leonardo da Vinci projected this with a little bit of a smile. So I think that is really important. Now I'm, I want to add a little bit of jewels. Some of us could be described as the jewels. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry for a little minute. I'm going to work through get this composition. The most important thing about Kim's work is there was so much richness, beauty. You want to keep it forever and lock it up. Adding color is very important in small bits of this work. I'm going to add a little bit of green because green shows quite a bit in his work. Small bits. Makes it very interesting. As we know, we take influences from many different artists. This could be as close to Van Gogh, Van Quilty, Matisse,
it shows a level of thinking and analyzing for young people where the brush strokes, colors, mark making, and engages their mind. Having done that, I'm just going to highlight some, some of the areas. If you made a mistake, you can go back and use black because I've used a black piece of paper. You can go and redefine some of the areas. Bring that feeling back into, into the work. So this is a piece of work that is combined with uh, Leonardo da Vinci, Klimt, Matisse, and yourself. Your influence is very important. Very, very important. Here we are.